What's up guys? Today's lesson is very simple. I just got off the phone with a lovely woman who's ready to make changes in her life. And ultimately, I like to make videos when I'm a little bit emotional because I know that it will come out unfiltered and ultimately be the advice that you guys need to hear. So the conversation was about money. And I've had this conversation so often lately. And to be honest, I'm sick and tired of it. Now, I grew up in a household where both my parents were teachers living on modest salaries. I think they started around 30 grand a year. And there was a time where my mom didn't work when she had my brother and myself. And so we were living on one income. So every penny my parents had was spent strategically. And with that being said, my brother and I knew the value of a dollar very early on in our lives. If we wanted something, we worked for it. If there was something that we wanted to do and we couldn't afford it, we found a way to get it done. And that's the way we grew up. So just as I said, we lived very modestly. Now we weren't on welfare, we weren't on food stamps, we weren't living on disability. But with that being said, we weren't this family that was jetting off on vacations every other week um, and could purchase the newest designer clothes and all of the things that went along with that like other families growing up in the Hamptons were. But funny enough, my parents always paid for things that we wanted. That's just how it works. When you say you don't have money, but you say that something's important to you and you don't actually spend it on that, what you're really saying is it's not. Because that was my reality, that's who I grew up, and I wasn't making excuses. I wasn't claiming the victim mentality. I wasn't saying, poor me. I was strapping on my boots, pulling up my sleeves, getting dirty and finding a way to make it happen. Now, I'm not saying that these experiences have hardened me to like the reality of curtain situations that you guys may face. But what I'm saying is you can either get it done and make it happen or make excuses and complain about why it's not happening in your life. So if fitness is important to you, if your health is important to you and your family and your children, and you know you can't keep living life with the particular lifestyle that you have now because you look ahead to your parents and to your grandparents and you see physically what's coming down the pike, you need to start making changes now. You need to stop making excuses. You need to put your money where your mouth is and accept that your life is never gonna be how you want it to be unless you change something you're doing right now. Change a daily habit that's going to positively impact your future. Because the reality is, unless you shift that mindset, you are giving power to a person or to a situation where you otherwise should take control. Stop putting power in other people's hands. You're saying that you have no control over your life and your finances, but that's BS. We live in the United States. We live in the best country you can possibly live in in this world, a capitalist society where you are rewarded for your hard work, for your ingenuity, and the ability, if you have an enterprising idea, to absolutely capitalize on that. So when you say you don't have money, I'm gonna help you get out of this mindset by giving you off the top of my head a couple of ideas in terms of how you can put a little bit of extra cash in your pocket and start moving towards your goals today to stop making excuses and actually begin taking action in your life. So the first thing that you can do is start a business, right? Like I did. You can take whatever little money you have and put it into paying a business coach like I did Everyone needs help, regardless of how much information you think you know, and getting someone who's successfully chartered that path before where you eventually wanna go is gonna help you get there faster, all right? So pay for that coach. If it's $2,000, hope that you can work really hard, implement their strategies, and make it back with interest even faster so that you can get on the path that you want to go. The second thing you can do is door-to-door -door sales. Now, I know that sounds a little bit outdated in our virtual internet savvy world, but this is old school ingenuity. If you want it, you can make it happen. Now, it's not really glamorous because you're going door-to-door -door in potentially really hot heat for very long hours a day, but depending upon what it is that you have, 
If you're a good salesman and you're starting out, this might be a good opportunity for you to get some cash. So speaking on that, point number three is you can go into sales. If you have a great personality, if you're truly wanting to help people, this may be a great start for you, very similar to kind of what I'm doing now, to be able to reach out to people and offer your expertise. You have something, you know something that you are passionate about, that there has got to be people out there who have the same passion as you. So find out where those people are, go to your Facebook groups, your Facebook marketplaces, and begin exploring ways to help people by adding value to their lives. And in doing so, by creating meaningful conversations, potentially it will lead to a sales in that field that you are an expert in. Number four is you can do babysitting, like I did in the past. Now, one of the drawbacks to this is obviously you're watching children and um, your hours can be restricted based on another person's schedule, whereas you may have a little bit more flexibility if you're doing online sales. However, it's quick, it's usually cash, and you can put that immediately into your bank account. Number five is dependent upon where you live and what time of year it is, but you can do outdoor activities. So think about power washing people's houses, snow plowing if it's the winter, mowing people's lawns, right? All of those things add up over time. So be smart with what the needs are of people in your community and begin to move forward from there. Number six is something that I recently did and have had a lot of fun creating content for, and that's YouTube. As you guys know, YouTube stars are really on the rise if you have educational value or entertainment that people are interested in viewing. Now, there's a little catch here because you've heard that people get paid um, for others to view their channel. But the quick kind of abridged version of that is you need to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers before YouTube will hook up your account um, to what's called AdSense, which is how they actually pay you per views for each video that you produce. But you also have to have certain other requirements, like a certain amount of time that people have actually viewed your videos collectively. I'm not sure what that is off the top of my head. I wanna say it's like 40,000 hours, but you'd have to like double check that. But YouTube is a great platform to not only create value and deliver this value to potentially, you know, your sales market, but also a great way if you've got a wonderful personality um, and people enjoy being around you because you're very humorous, perhaps entertainment is the platform through YouTube that you can use to start generating some money for you. Now you're thinking, Anne, I don't have a microphone, I don't have a camera, and I don't know what to say. Those are what I like to call excuses. I'm recording this video for you on my smartphone because I don't have enough money for the software yet or the computer or the camera to really create high definition photos and videos. But you know what? That's not stopping me. I'm still here. I'm still standing in front of you and you're still listening because of the value that I'm providing for you. So again, stop making excuses, take messy action forward. And then once you do get the financial support that you need to invest back into your business or your company or your health, right? That's when you can start to see this kind of pay itself forward. If you're not sure what to YouTube about, think about, again, your passion, your interests. Think about documenting your life around you. Or if you're going on to a humanitarian trip, what that experience was like. Take, for example, I know I'm gonna date myself, but right now there's a corona outbreak happening not only across the United States, but the world. Wouldn't it be great if you could document what it's like to prepare for something like this, to educate your audience about the coronavirus, right? God forbid you do get it and you're in quarantine, wouldn't it be amazing for you to actually, instead of hide an embarrassment that you've got it, speak out about what it's like to have it and to share kind of what your journey's like I mean, I don't want it, but I can guarantee that if I get it, that's an idea that's in my head as a way to spin it for a positive. So always keep a positive or a growth mindset. Try to make the best out of every situation, right? Make it a learning experience and realize that your current situation is temporary and that there's always something you can do to make tomorrow better. All right, so cut the excuses. I don't wanna hear them anymore. 
Now, one last thing with YouTube is they have something called affiliate marketing. So once your page begins to grow, even if you don't have a thousand followers, they have a really nice description box on the bottom of each post where you can discuss what your post is about. You can link it to a lead page if you are a business and you want people to check out what services you provide and how they can book a call with you. But what's also cool is if you become sponsored or collaborate with other companies, which is very easy to do, there's a simple application process depending upon which company you're interested collaborating with that fits into your genre or your niche, then you can actually link those um, collaboration uh, websites on your page or your YouTube video, and that's another nice way to produce passive income for you. It obviously should be stuff that you're using, that you trust, um, and that you would recommend to other people, or you're not gonna have much credibility with your audience. However, this is a really great way for you to um, begin to build passive income as more people are pushed to your channel. And again, one final bonus tip for YouTube, as you begin to grow your audience and you begin to connect and help more people, companies will begin to reach out to you beyond affiliate marketing and actually will pay you to post um, information on your page um, based on their brand. So if you're in fitness and you, um, you know, love the Apple Watch, which is what I happen to be wearing underneath here, perhaps Apple would reach out to you and say, hey, if you do a review on our watch and maybe compare it to like a Garmin and how you've experienced you know, good results with ours or whatever, or give us honest feedback, that's another way that you can make um, income towards, again, whatever it is that you are saving for. Really guys, the opportunities are endless if you're using the internet. So tip number seven has been one of my favorites and most therapeutic as I begin to have my children age or kind of grow out of one stage of development in their lives. And that's by using platforms like LetGo and Facebook Market. So LetGo and Facebook Marketplace are two really effective, very quick ways to get rid of um, things around your house that you no longer need, okay? So like I said, we just got rid of my son's um, wall art from when he was a baby, which is so sad to say, but now it's in the home of someone who also has a baby and um, wanted something at a lower price that they could afford based on their budget and so it's a win-win for both of you so look around your house see if there's things that you don't need anymore that you'd be willing to get rid of and um, again if it's good quality you're gonna be able to get rid of it quickly and make some money another tip I have is freelancing I know this sounds crazy to offer up your services for free, but by hooking up with a company that you eventually wanna work with, you're gonna get a lot of kind of behind the scenes um, educational value in terms of how they run, like the systems of their business. They're gonna get to see your work ethic. They're gonna get to um, really kind of test you out to see um, what services you can provide for them. And if you're really good, chances are good when they do have an opening, they, they would and should want to reward those already within their system or that they're comfortable with versus going out and hiring someone else. So minimally, it gives you a leg up on other people. You're going to learn so much information um, if you're willing to kind of invest the time with that company and by showing them that you're willing to invest with them, they will be willing to reciprocate. So again, as you guys can see, there's more on my list, but I'm trying to limit the length of these videos. Um, I'll maybe put them down in the comments below. But ultimately, the goal that I want you guys to take away from this video is that there are tons of really great ways for you to make money and to get your foot in the door for whatever it is that you want to do um, where money may be a limiting factor and or holding you back. So if you're offended by this, that's 100% a good thing because it means that you probably have the victim mentality and you need to stop limiting what you're capable of and where you're going to go with your future. You probably think right now that you're not in control of your life. And again, that's not true. Stop giving people and circumstances power over your life and the decisions that you make. Again, you live in one of the best countries in the world. So open up your mind, get going, and stop using it as an excuse to hold you back. And again, you're going to have people moan and complain and say, oh my gosh, you don't know what it's like to be me. You don't know what it feels like. You're self-righteous. You're making good money now, so you're out of touch. Or you think you know me. 
And it's like, yeah, I do know you because I started very basic. I started at a very humble beginning and I was relentless. I was willing to give up and I know that you're capable of doing the same thing. So for all of you people out there who are continually making excuses for why you don't have the things you want in your life, stop and change your mindset. There's always something that you can do. Now, maybe you can't have everything, but you can have the things that are most important to you. My parents have always made my brother and I a priority. We never had to go out and get food or something that we needed. My father was great. He bought the things that was important to him and to our family and didn't buy the things that weren't needed. He never said to us, oh, you know, sorry, that's not in our budget. I only make $30,000. Sorry, kids, we can't have that. He either worked harder, found another way, or we lived without it because it wasn't a priority to us. So guys, take control of your life, get things done, stop making excuses, and that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one.